Look, where have you been all day that Princess had to wait for you? I went to return her book, and Princess is aware of that. She might be aware, but I am not. Look, I must know you're in and out of this house. Am I understood? I believe I'm talking to somebody here. Mom, why is it that everything I do in this house seems to be wrong with you? Whatever I do is just so wrong, but whatever Princess does, she's right. Mom, what have I done to deserve all of this? What is going on in here? Good afternoon, Mom. Good afternoon. I'm very sorry if I offended you yesterday. I didn't mean to say the things I said. Never mind. Mom, I'm going to the library. I won't be long. Take care of yourself and don't be logging come. Sweetheart, I am back! Come on. That's not the way to welcome you, man. Well, I hope you don't expect me to jump up and down in ecstasy just because you deemed it fit to come back now, are you? Not really, but a kiss would do. Welcome back. Are you satisfied? Nah. Come on. I missed you today. I missed you too. Well, if you missed me, how come you stayed out so long? I mean, this is my first time in Ghana, and I don't know anywhere. Stop that! <laughs> I'm so sorry, okay? I just met this old friend of mine and childhood friends some time back, and I, I needed to find a location, okay? I'm sorry. Okay. I'll make it up to you. I mean... Promise. I'll start now. Like this evening. I'll take you out. You've not, not seen the city at night. Are you serious? Yeah. Now? Yes. Yes. I love that. I love it. <laughs> cool. I'll go get changed. Okay. <laughs> Let me help you change. Ah, oh, thank you, darling. But no thanks. My hands work just fine. <laughs> I'll right. be back. Okay, dear. It's so wonderful here, darling. Thank you for bringing me. You're welcome. And thank you for giving me a second chance. You know, after Maxwell, I never thought you would want to have anything to do with me. What happened between you and Maxwell? It's past. It's gone. So please don't remind me of it. I know. It's just that. I can't believe how foolish I was to believe Maxwell's lies. Darling, I know I hurt you so much. So I never thought you would ever forgive me. I thought I would lose you to someone else. But when you said you forgave me, it really felt like a miracle. So do me that favor. And let's forget about it, okay? I forgive you because I love you. And I want you to use the same love to forget about it. Alex, promise me you'll never use what happened against me. Promise me you'll never leave me for someone else. Put a ring on your finger, my dear. And that's why I want it till eternity. Unless perhaps I, I 
after 75 years you want me to sign a release for you? I will. <laughs> Honey, I love you. I really do. I love you too. I love you <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> Please eat for me. in town for a while and uh, I've all the time being in my guest house. Oh, yes. I see. Gladys, you're looking so lovely. Thank you. Thank you. I'd rather say so gorgeous. <laughs> oh, and uh, Gladys, I admire you so much. And I'd rather say you're very industrious. Thank you very much. <laughs> Thank you, sir. <laughs> uh, I've been looking for the opportunity to invite you for a candlelit dinner, uh, at least to cool off your busy schedule. I hope you wouldn't mind, just this weekend. Um, I think I'll check on my schedule and get back to you. Anyway, thanks for the invitation. Thank you so much. <laughs> yeah. Thanks so much. You're most welcome. Thank you. Please, uh, Try as much as possible to uh, fulfill this invitation. I will. I will. Thanks Thank you so much. Thanks a lot. Anyway, I'll take a look. Feels good. Have a nice day. Thanks. Thanks. Bye. Bye. <laughs> school I mean this institution yes, I am. yeah I'm looking for one lady uh, her name is Ruth uh, she's a little busty average height she's in the botanic department mm. yeah. I'm, I'm sorry I'm not too sure I know her okay. all right okay I'm sorry to intrude but uh, my name is Alex um, Anita 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 Bartels Yes. You are Anita Bartels? No. <laughs> what a small world! I'm, I'm sorry, but, but how do you know me? You, you grew up in the same neighborhood. I mean, like, how many years ago? Alex Benson, come on. <laughs> Alex! <laughs> oh my god, oh, it's little Alex! Go away, what is little Alex? Oh my god, you look so big now! <laughs> I mean, well, Alex, where have you been? I was not around. I came back like uh, two weeks ago. Okay. Yeah. Hi. But Ruth is here. You've not met her. Are you serious? You mean like Ruth is here? How long has she been here? And I don't know. Like two years? Yeah, so I'll try to look for her. Oh my God. Where, where is Princess? Prin my sister. Of course. <laughs> She's at home. 
I'm sure she was so happy that I met you today. I will tell her. I hope you're still living in your same neighborhood, right? Of course, my father's house. I can't move until I get married. Okay, it means you're noble. Just give me your number. <laughs> okay, 0244 677 Okay, so I'll call you, don't tell her. I will just bump. I'll find you. Yeah, sure, do that. Oh, you're looking sweet. Hey, Alex. Look at how big you are. Uh, uh, yeah. Alex, call me you. Okay. How can I make it go away? I want to know loneliness I feel and I need someone to hold. At times I see my life in chains. Oh Lord. Tell me why am I this way? Tears cascading down my eyes. What have I done? What is really going on? What What's wrong, sis? Nothing. What do you mean, nothing? I know something is eating you up. Come on, tell me. What's it? What is it? It's mom. Mom, what about mom? Princess, nothing I do in this house seems to be okay with mom. I mean, I try my hardest to cook, to clean, to do everything that I think would please her, but she's never pleased. Anita, you know mom scolds me sometimes. But the way she scolds you is different. It's so obvious how she treats me in this house. You know, sometimes I even wonder if dad is not my real father. Anita, how could you say something like that? What do you mean dad is not your dad? So why would she treat me like this, princess? Why would she do that? You know? I just want to know, so maybe I could go out there and then look for my real father. I said stop saying that, okay? Mm -hmm. um, I'll try and talk to her for you, okay? You will? I will, okay? okay. Now cheer up. And? Champ, let's grab our swim suits and have a swim. What are you going to wear? The pink suit or the green? You know, actually, I think I'll wear the purple one. Oh, the purple one. Yeah. So that's how I lost my joy and became a widow at a tender age. Right now, I've put all my trust in God and to see my children go through life. I see. In fact, uh, Gladys, I think we have almost the same experience. And that makes us one of a kind, you know? Hmm. You see, I watched my wife's life for five years destroyed by cancer. In fact, since then I have raised my son single-handedly. The pain that she went through and her eventual death put me off marriage totally, totally. But I know with the love that I had for her, it's all gone to my son. But I, I would have wished to be with someone though, but... Anyway, thanks so much for honoring my invitation. Let's cheers to that. I have one confession to make. That's, excuse me to say this, you remind me so much of my late wife. Um, she was as gorgeous as you are, very hardworking, she had charisma. 
Everything about you reminds me of her. Uh, I don't mind, I shouldn't be saying these things. I just thought to check out the shops and boutiques and see what they have to offer and try and see if I can hunt down something I can entice you with. <laughs> Wanna come? Nah, I don't think I find it that pleasurable. Oh. You go along, you'll be fine. And besides, I'll be seeing the girls later too. The girls? Yeah. What girls? I told you about this friend I met, childhood friend. Childhood friend? Yeah. Well, I mean, I thought it was a guy. Come on. I mean, like, yeah, I wish Anita was, was here to help me call her a guy. Come on, baby. Anita is nowhere near a guy. Anita? Yeah, Anita Battles. I mean, we're living next door to each other. Anita, her sister, myself. Oh. I mean, could you imagine I, I fancied myself being in love with her at that age? Oh. I never thought. Uh. Just give my love to them, okay? I'm around now. Happy hunting. Oh, 
you doing there? You're looking sweet. Ten years. Yeah. No, he was really, really little. And you were grown up. So. <laughs> you remember when he used to buy me outside? Imagine. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god. Oh my god. Where did you find him? Surprise. It's a little world, you know. <laughs> <laughs> You're grown up, see. <laughs> a bit of everything. I go into music, I go into uh, everything. Yeah, yeah. Oh my goodness, you look so good. Yeah, thank you. You're looking <laughs> sweet too. Oh, thank you. Princess. Yes, ma'am. I know you don't have the audacity to bring a man in my house if it's not a plot of Anita. Mommy, it's high time you realize that we're not little girls anymore. We're grown ups. And for your information, Anita did not initiate him in here. Well, I acknowledge your maturity. But that won't be at the detriment of my comfort in this house. I don't want to talk for her to think I don't love her. Mommy, when are you going to realize that Anita is your daughter and she's my sister? You're making life unbearable for her, please. You mean I actually look like Beyonce? Mm hmm <laughs> You're so crazy. Well, don't tell me. I know. You're going on a date. A date? Mm hmm Princess, you're so crazy. What actually makes you think I'm going on a date? You're blushing. <laughs> look at you. I can see it in your eyes. Uh, okay, well, listen. <laughs> I'm very sorry to disappoint you. But I'm actually going to look for a job. Job? Of course a job. Nita. Has it gotten into this situation? Princess, look, mom has been making my life a living hell in this place. I just want to go out there and then get myself busy. If only she wasn't my mother. Oh, you know what, Princess? You take care of yourself, okay? I'll be right back, all right? But why didn't you tell me about this? Princess, I just wanted it to be a surprise for both you and mom. Okay. So does she know about this? She doesn't know. And I hope you don't tell her. I just want to surprise her, okay? All right? Come on, you take care of yourself, all right? Switch yourself. <laughs> Do I really look like Beyonce? Oh, get out. <laughs> Good well, luck, okay? Thank you. I'm going to use it. Something must be wrong. Moreover, I heard you on the phone complaining about the business. It's not good, is it? Fred, you're right. My business, business that I've toiled for, for so many years, is dwindling, dwindling so fast, I understand. Hmm? Expenditure, always more expenditure. And I've been paying taxes. Huh? One day I wake up to find my business blown away, blown with the wind. I don't understand. Dad, you need to slow down. You know you don't have a very strong heart. These things, don't let them bother you so much. But 
I share your sentiments, I understand. But you just need to take it light. Okay, I've, I've got an idea. You know, I haven't been around here for a while and not a lot of people know me, so let me just see what I can do. Let me talk to a few people, pull some few strings and, and see what I can come up with. And how do you intend to do that? Thank you. What? Have you forgotten? Forgotten what? Today's my birthday. Oh. Happy birthday. Thank you. Where's Princess? Uh, she left early. I don't know where she's really going to.
that day was so rich and so wonderful. You need to see the surprise on Anita's face when Alex ushered her in and removed the blindfold from her eyes. <laughs> really? I didn't even know the party was supposed to be a surprise. I thought the girls planned it by themselves. No. <laughs> Alex did. With the help of um, Prince, you know Princess now, and his dad's younger sister. Mm. Yeah. Even the birthday dress was a surprise too. And it didn't mean nothing about it. At all, at all. I see. So who paid for all the expenses? Uh, Alex, of course. You know, Alex and the girls have really come a very long way. Anita especially. Now I see. Mm -hmm. <coughs> that reminds me of Becky. What happened? We all expected to see you there. Why didn't you show up? Need you to love me. Need you to care. Take all my sorrow. Away, your worries are over. I'll always be there to love you till the end of my days. I never meant to cause you pain, I love you so. Alex, what the hell is going on between you and Anita? Anita and myself are very good friends. Why do you ask? Oh, just very good friends, right? But that's not what this picture is saying. You organized and paid for another woman's birthday party, even bought her a sexy dress to go with it, and you stand there and tell me you're just friends. What do you take me for, Alex? A fool? Where did you get these? Yeah, well, you hit them, of course. I just, I knew it, Alex. I knew there was something more to you and that girl than meets the eye. But you continue to deny it, you two-timing bastard! For Christ's sake, what is wrong with you? Why do you keep on fabricating stories when there's none? Making yourself unhappy along? I have told you time and time again, Anita and I are just friends. How else do you want me to convince you? Alex, the evidence is staring us right into the face and it proves that otherwise. What? So, am I deceiving me now? Listen, I promised you the day I put a ring on your finger that there's not going to be any other woman apart from you. I meant it. Why can't you just trust me? Then you would just realize... Realize what, Alex? That you're a lying, cheating, two-timing bastard who cannot stand by his words? Who? I know where you're coming from. It's Maxwell, right? Let me make this point clear. Not everybody is a cheat who sleeps with one man and gets engaged to the other. The fact that you did it to me doesn't mean I'll pay you back in your own coin. No. You bastard! Good afternoon, Mom. Good afternoon. Anita, you never told me you're looking for a job at Banix. <laughs> Mom, I wanted to surprise you. And um, I wanted you to appreciate me. Appreciate you? Who told you I never appreciate you? Maybe you're just telling me now. Maybe. Anyway, you finally made it. You got a job. I did? Mom, you mean like I made it? Mm. Oh, I'm so excited! Oh, oh mommy, you're never going to tell prison. Oh, mom, I So, 
test me his battle. Can I see it in my office? Yes, now. Thanks. Hello, sir. Yes, Miss Battle, how are you doing? Okay. Um, Miss Battle, meet Fred. He's just been employed as your new driver. Okay. Fred. That's Ms. Bartel. He's the public relations officer of this company. Morning, madam. You can just call me Anita. Good morning, Anita. Good morning. Is that all, sir? Yes, sir. Yeah. All right. Thank you, sir. I'm not too sure, but I'm trying to figure it out. Your driver, I thought you were supposed to know car problems and everything that happens to the cars. I'll, I'll figure it out. Well, can you please hurry because I might be late for this board meeting, okay? Yes, ma'am. Don't lie to me, Princess. Ah, mommy. Look, I'm your mother. Uh. Anyway, there's someone I'd like to introduce to you. Who? My business partner's son. Look, <laughs> he's the kind of family I'd like you to associate yourself with. Mommy, don't tell me you're arranging a husband for me. But what if I do? I would like to place you in a place of honor and dignity. Mommy, save the news for later, okay? As I said, I'll be late tonight. Mm. Love you. Love you too. Please don't wait up. Okay, me. we'll talk more when you come back, okay? All right. Actually, from you, Mom. This is wonderful. But I need to, how can you lavish your money on such an expensive gift for me? There are more than this, Mom. Well. 
I love you. Thank you. You're welcome. Mom, is Princess upstairs? Um, she might be somewhere in the room upstairs, yeah. Okay, yeah. I'll be upstairs then, okay? Okay. the insurance company for loss of goods on the high seas. <laughs> That's brilliant. <laughs> then, um, what do we tell them? The simple. Yeah? The goods are missing in action. Then we commit him to pursue the insurance company. But you know the last assignment nearly backfired. Had it not been the intelligence of my come bank on, manager. Come on. This time round, I told the bank manager that it is going to be 50 50. Oh. Shabu, shabu. Sure. Then we have a deal. Of course. <laughs> See you In fact, you're all aware, and I don't want to go into detail. <clears throat> Get me Fred. Get me Fred right in the door. Yes, boardroom. Thank you. Day-to-day -day management of this company is being transferred to my son, Fred. Every responsibility from finance to administration all is in his hands. And remember, you are all responsible to Fred, my son, as managers. And also remember, he is my personal representative in this company, pending the formation of a new board. That's your new CEO.
I just want to say something short. Some of you might be really surprised at the outcome of this. My father was at the verge of selling out, but I more or less got him convinced to keep this corporation running. To make the long story short, I just want to say we need a lot of team spirit in here. And with that high profile team spirit, we should forget the past and just move forward. That's it. I thank you guys. sister princess princess this is Fred um, the driver I told you that became my boss oh. the son of Vanex right? hi princess hi nice to meet you nice meeting you too you're beautiful <laughs> I believe it runs in the family <laughs> <laughs> okay 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 we have to go now all right pass by some time I will hi. nice to meet you hi. Thank you. I like that. 
We've got the tins. Now tell me, what on earth can I offer you? Um, actually, I'm just from a meeting and it was more like a cocktail than a meeting meeting. And I had a little too much to drink, so... Your reception for now should do, but I'm cool. I insist. What can I offer you? Okay. Is there a drink called Anita? I get it. All right. To toss come right up. And you make it for? All right, do that. <laughs> Ooh, the drinks are here. Quick service. <laughs> Hi, you look gorgeous. Thank you, so do you. Thanks. Hmm. Well, anyways, I really have to go to the office. I have a couple of things to do, so I can't really stay, all right? Aww. But I'm very sure that my sister will give you a kingly reception, all right? All right. I have to go now, okay? So you take care. All right, take care. I won't be long, though. Okay. All right. Don't be long. <laughs> Come on, have a seat. Yeah. Uh, b business is alright, I mean, we trying to make things work, it's a really tough world out there, if I start getting into the Making all the money. Yeah, right, you tell me about making money, I mean, you know. <laughs> what are you interested in? Well, um, right now I'm trying to figure out what I want to do, I'm trying to put up something, but then um, I don't really have, I don't know what exactly what I want to do, but then thinking of something, yeah. Hello. Oh, oh mommy. It's Fred. Yes, it is. Hello, you're welcome. Thank you very much. And how are you? I'm doing well. Your father? He's excellent. Oh, that's great. Anyway, mm. extend my warmest greetings to him. I'll do that. Have fun, eh? Thank you. You look better today. May I come in? Yeah, sure. Good. Yeah? Cool. So, how are you? I'm fine, thank you. Yeah? Well, thanks for your concern. You're welcome. What I want to do is ask you for a favor. It's not really huge, but I wish you'd say yes. Come on, say it. If it's something beyond my capacity, I'll simply say no. Okay. I want to take you out. Somewhere really cool, smooth, quiet, cozy, good food. Come with your sister if you want. I mean, I'm okay with it if you're fine with that. Really? That would be wonderful. I'll call her so she'll know, okay? That is so cool. Okay. Thank you. I'll see you. Sure. Wow. Did you enjoy your day out? Thank you. Yeah? Okay. Cool. But thank you very much for the ride though. Nah, you know, it pleases me to drive you every time. Mm. We can go again. <laughs> you know? Well, I will let you know anytime. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So, I'll see you again. All right. Mm, I'm gonna miss you. Me too. <laughs> Call me. I will. <laughs>
Good afternoon, madam. Hello, good afternoon. And um, how may I help you? Well, I am being asked to deliver this to your daughter. From whom? From my boss, Fred Ajima. Oh, Fred. Thank you. Thank you very much. You're welcome. Do have a nice day, madam. Oh, you have a pleasant day, too. Thank you. Your day too. Oh, I've had such a hectic day. So I'll be upstairs in my room. Okay. Princess. Yes, mommy? That is for you. Oh, wow. Thanks. Thank you. Fred actually sent it this afternoon. Who? Fred. Fred sent this for me? This afternoon? Mm -hmm. Mommy! Wow! Look at this! This is beautiful! Oh Mommy! This is beautiful, Princess! Look at the earrings! Oh, they're so lovely! How do I look? Oh, you are the princess oh that you gosh. are! Beautiful! It's so beautiful. Oh my god. I can't believe this. This is beautiful. I have to give this to Nita. Where is Nita? I'll be right back, Annie. Oh my god. Annie! Annie, girl! Guess what, guess what I have? Annie! Come on, Annie! Look! Fred, 
got that. Oh, and it's so it's obvious it's in love with me. Isn't it obvious? I'm gonna call him first. I'll see you later, okay? I have to call him, okay? I'm going to call him. Don't wait up and I'm right back. You're the type of woman that society needs to look up to. Thanks for your commendation, sir. Thank you very much. You're most welcome. Sir, I will also like to state that your support has kept alive small industries like ours from collapsing. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> uh, I'm flattered, though. <laughs> Thanks so much. <laughs> You're welcome. Um, sir, it has always been my desire to give my children a sound belonging. Um, in fact, when I found myself in your business and my daughter in your office, I felt something bigger growing between the two families. Um, sir, it's, it's, it's actually about my daughter and your son, Fred. Oh, nice. I see. So, you also noticed it. Oh. I see. Oh. In fact, I've been watching the two of them for the past weeks. And, uh, I don't know. I don't know if it's love. But if it is love that has found its way into the heart of two young people, what can we do? Who are we to stop them? That is why I've come for you to join them in hands before they bring shame into this noble family. Oh, I see. Uh, Gladys, you know I'll do everything and anything for you. Yes. And there is wisdom in what you just said. But first, I'll have to talk to my son, Fred. And then afterwards, I'll get back to you. Good afternoon, madam. Yes, I'm from Barnett Industries. Oh. I see. How may I help you? Madam, there's a problem. What problem? Mom, I'm, I'm very sorry, but please. It, it's Anita, your biological daughter. Of course. And why? And what about Princess? <laughs> Madam, two weeks ago, I heard my boss talking about his son getting married to Anita's sister, Princess. And I saw Anita romancing, kissing the sister's fiancé in the office. Actually, I went there to pick a file and I saw it. But I also heard her pleading that the guy should love her. She almost raped my director's son. It's okay. That, um... it's okay. Thank you very much, my dear lady. Okay. Then I'll take my leave. Thank you very much. MFA, what happened 20 years ago is about to repeat itself. I won't sit for Anita to destroy my daughter's happiness. Never. It won't happen again. Not in this house. Not. It won't. Anita, you're not answering my calls. What's wrong? Fred, 
What again do you want from me? What is that supposed to mean? Did I do something wrong? Did I do anything to hurt you? If I did, I expect you talk to me about it. Just let me know, give me the chance to apologize. And I will apologize, because I want things to work between us. The one thing I know I did wrong was I sent a present to the one I love. To you. To me? He actually sent a gift for me. But if you don't like it, I can take it back. I can take it back, because for me, your happiness is more important than gifts. If it makes you unhappy, I will withdraw it. I just need you to be able to talk to me and tell me what I did wrong. Anita, you don't get it, do you? You don't get it. From the first day I saw you down that road, I just knew you had to be the one. That was the beginning of my life. And since then, every day I live on because you live. When you're sad, I'm sad. It's like, it's like a big world and I'm the only child in it. I feel so lost if I don't see you any day. Please, I need you to work. Anita, even at work, you're not your best anymore. You look so bored that I see you walking around and it hurts me. I want to help. Please, give me your words.
No, I'm not. What is it? The one you call your sister is having an affair with your fiancé. Mom, stop it. I trust Anita. She can't do such a thing. Don't live in fool's fantasy. I'm your mother, and I can't sit and see things go wrong. I saw them. Right at the spot. Kissing and hugging each other. Mommy, are you sure? Princess. Anita. And Fred. Hogan. And Cardinal. Yes, I saw them. Are you okay? Don't ask her. Because you're the cause of this mess. Anita, what have you been hiding from us? Mom, I don't know what you're talking about. Don't mom me, because I'm not your mom. The same heart your mother had and took away my happiness and destroyed me. Now you want to do the same to my daughter? My mother? Mom, I still don't understand. I'm so confused. I don't understand. Yes. You deserve it. And I'll tell you more. 20 years ago, your mother had an affair with my legal husband. And you are the product of that affair. She took away the joy of my marriage life. And you are here to repeat the same thing to my daughter. No, Anita, I won't sit for that. Mom, these words are so harsh. I really don't understand. I'm so confused. I want you to explain why you are seducing your sister's fiancé. Why? Mom, Mom, this accusation is false. I love Princess. She's my sister. I would never do anything to hurt her feelings. Mom, I would never do anything silly to come between a good relationship like the one she has with Fred. You lied. I saw you. I saw you kissing and hugging each other. Right at the spot. Anita. Now I want you out of this place. Come on, get out. Get out! How I lost my joy and became a widow at a tender age. I'm sorry. I went away to London on a business trip, and when I came back, nobody told me about this sad news. And you have my number. Look, MFA, I was confused. I didn't have anybody to talk to. Sorry. Anyway, how are you coping with that little girl? You mean the daughter of the woman who claimed his life? But of course, who else? That is the memory of pains and regrets my late husband left for me. But I don't understand. Why would you accept such irreversible memories like that in this house? 
Eh? This thing right here will hurt you for the rest of your life. Emefa, that was my husband's final wish. That if I owe him anything, it should be his final wish. Send her out. Okay. Don't listen to what she was saying. We've grown up since we're little. We're practically twins. Nobody, nobody could come between you and me. Nobody. Not even mom. But Anne. Annie, please. Look deep in your heart. And tell me the truth. Are you in love with Fred? Princess, you love Fred, don't you? Of course I do. Of course I do. But me. Please, answer me. Do you love Fred? You really do love him, right? I don't care. I don't care. I'm willing to sacrifice everything. I could call off this whole engagement. I like him just as a person, you know? And I would never do anything to come between both of you. Fred doesn't love me. He loves you. I would just be so happy if you guys ended up together. I trust you. I really do. Everything I do in this house irritates you, Mom. Whatever I do, I'm wrong. Whatever Princess does, she's right. Need you to love me. Need you to care. Take all my sorrows away. Your worries are Love 
got to know that Mrs. Gladys Bertels is not my real mother. Since, since when? I mean, we've both known she is since, since childhood. What are you talking about? She's my stepmother. Alex, I only knew that yesterday. That my mother was an orphan. When she had me, and then after my father's death, it is, it is my stepmother that adopted me. at work. Um, I just decided to stay home. Come up. Anita, you don't look happy. And why aren't you at work? I'm, I'm just not feeling too well. Are you sure? Because I haven't seen you in this mood of recent. I'm okay, seriously. I just woke up and decided not to go to work today. Well, did you tell the office you weren't coming? Princess, seriously, I really don't care now. I'll be fine, come on. Just go in, change, okay? You sure? Mm hmm. All right, take care of yourself, okay? I'm okay. I've been really busy lately. Okay. You sure you're alright? Okay. You, you squash that. Forget it. I've got this lunch meeting with some friends of mine today. And uh, I want you to come along. Um, for lack of a better word, will you be my date? I'm sorry I won't be available. I have a lot of work to do. anything about Anita lately. She's acting quite weird. She seems to be going through some emotional trauma. Yeah? I try asking her, but she refused to talk to anyone. Mm. And I think this is really affecting her performance of late. Do you know if she's got into a fight with anybody, anything around here probably I haven't heard about? I don't think so. But we are all asking the same question. Okay. Keep up the good work. Thank you. He's mad.
right. How are you? I'm okay. Right, ah, so you can do the pan food to eat, huh? Hungry. <laughs> and congratulations. On what? Let's say I'm being curious. Curious about what? Hmm, like you don't know what I'm talking about, Alice. What? <laughs> what are you talking about? Just tell me. About you being in love with. It's okay. And. and it's okay. Uh, do I have to continue? No. We're just trying to see whether we can do something. Mm. Well, you're welcome to the home of Battles. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> anyway, I'll catch you later. I'm going to get some lunch. Okay. All right, take See care. Bye-bye. Right. What is it? I'm sorry, okay? I'm really sorry about it. Listen, let me pass by tomorrow, okay? And we'll talk about it. Okay. Anita will talk about the engagement to you, okay? Yes, tomorrow. I'll call you. Okay. Have a good night. to go and see your whore, aren't you? Not this morning, okay? When were you planning on telling me? Telling you what? When were you going to tell me that you proposed to Anita and that you want to marry her? Who told you that? Nobody told me, Alex. I don't even think of denying it because I listened to your conversation with Anita last night and I heard everything. How dare you, Rebecca? How dare you listen to my conversation which is meant to be private? Alex, that is not the point and you know it. So what's the point? That you mistrust me so much that you monitor every move I make? Now I don't have any respect for any man, but privacy? Is that it? I am sorry, okay? You know what happens to eavesdroppers, don't you? They never hear anything good about themselves. Alex, this issue is not as trivial as you make it. Now if you think that you can dump me and get away with it, then you had better have a rethink. Because I will not let you do that to me. What makes you think I can't have my way? I mean, after all, you had your way with Maxwell. <sighs> my dear. I've had it, okay? I am tired of you and your nuggets, okay? Please!
poets. Anita, I came in here to tell you one thing. I can say them in a lot of words. But I just want to say I love you. God knows I love you. And I will do anything to make it work between us. Every day I see you, I know there's a reason to live on. I want to be with you. I cherish you so much. And I will not do anything to spoil it. But I don't understand one thing. Why you treat me in this way? Why? Fred, I love you. I love you so very much. God knows I love you. Then why? But how can I keep loving you when your heart is already on my sister? And arrangements are in top gear for you both to be joined together. Fred, I don't want to be a stumbling block on my sister's joy. What joy? Anita, please, just get it. Understand it. What they're trying to do is wrong. They're trying to join two people together, which is not right. Two wrong lovers. I don't love your sis. Hey. I love you, and I want to be with only you. I cherish you so much. So please, please don't do this to me. close okay this is a very crucial moment and I don't want to embarrass neither your family or my family what family embarrassment are you talking about who cares Anita who cares hey hey don't you love me anymore don't I have a place in your heart anymore Fred my sister loves you she loves you so very much. She speaks about you every day. Sometimes I even get bored and jealous, but I have no choice than to listen. Fred, you're her joy. I am sacrificing my love for you for the one person that means so much to me. Anita, make me understand something. Is there somebody who means a lot more to you than I mean to you? Fred, I already explained to you. See, my stepmother, she has done so much for me. She's actually the reason to why I'm standing here right now. Fred, I don't want to destroy her joy and happiness. Fred. Please, Fred. If you truly love me like the way you say, You would do this for me. This is the one thing that would make my stepmother so happy. And we're standing against it. Fred, please. Just do this one thing for me, Fred. Come on, baby. Look, I went home and thought about this whole thing. I don't think it would work. 
how do you expect me to feign up something that could rob you your joy for life? You don't love me, at least I'm not so sure about that. But you've given all your heart to Fred and I don't know how you could exchange this passion for the satisfaction of your mother. No, you don't understand. She's the reason to why I'm like this in life. Okay, with her I've learned so many things. I, I just don't want to hurt her or call memories. Memories? What do you mean call back memories? You wouldn't understand. It's a really long story and I, I don't want to talk about it. But Alex, I really need you to do this for me. Please. I'm so confused right now. I'm so much under pressure. It's okay. It's okay. I don't know. Like, of course I can do it, but what happens to us? Who knows? Maybe someday you and I, we could be together. I don't know. I just need you to do this for me, Alex. Please. Okay. You will? Yeah, why not? Oh, thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Um, Fred, I wonder how come you speak so good English, you know, I just, it amazes me for a driver, you know. Ma'am, I guess it's the economic hardship because I've been to university and all. I'm just hoping with time it will get better. Yeah, I hope to. Well, you can keep applying though. I mean, in the company, maybe you should apply for like a higher position. Thank you. Um, I'll come to you for more advice. I'd be very glad. Okay. Thank you, madam. Son, do you realize you made this choice yourself? I didn't make this choice for you, huh? Mrs. Battelles and her family are very nice to us, so whatever that comes from there is equally good and acceptable. Are you confused, or are you in love with the two sisters? I'm not confused. I know what I'm doing. And I'm certainly not in love with both sisters. That uh, it's been Anita all along. And it's, it's only Anita I've been in love with. Then why now? Why is this coming up now? Now that I've finished all arrangements for this engagement, I invited dignitaries to this engagement. My friends, the members of parliament, are all going to come here. The governor of Bank of Ghana has been invited. Even my friend, the governor of one of the states in, in Nigeria, Honorable Frank Raja, is coming too. My son, I personally called you and you told me you were in love with Princess. Now, why Anita? That she made me do it. She said she wanted me to help her out. So she made me do it, so I said it. She made you do it. So what do we do now? What should, what should I do, my son? Huh? You want me to call off this engagement, isn't it? I, I hope you don't want to put our family's name into disrepute. Come on, my son, come on, come on. Listen, it takes time. You will learn to love her with time, okay? Hey, who 
gave me the right to confront Alita. <laughs> oh, she told you, huh? I knew it wouldn't take her long before she comes running to you with information. What in the blue blazes is wrong with you? Why can't you leave that poor girl alone? What is the matter with you? You, Alex, are the one who will have problems with me if you and your whole persistent call. Don't dare call Alita. It's even don't you! I think everybody is wayward like you, huh? They didn't say. All they said was they wanted to see Mrs. Gladys Botels. Let them in. I'm in doubt if you still recognize these faces. So, uh, what can I do for you people? We learned that you are giving away the daughter of Victoria in marriage, the property that does not belong to you. I am not giving away Victoria's daughter in marriage. I am rather giving away my daughter, Princess to the Ajimais. You lie. For how long will you continue to lie to yourself? Eh? Who in this city does not know of the relation between uh, uh, our own brother's daughter Anita and, and Fred Ajiman? And you are sitting down here telling her that it's rather your own daughter you are giving out. Does your late husband not have a family? We are members of his family. And let me ask you, when has it become the right of a woman to give a child out in marriage, in this custom or way? Tell me, it's an elders. You have no respect for tradition. I mean, you don't even fear the elders. Look, Gladys, you are taking too much. Ever since your late brother died, have you taken responsibilities on the children? You were rather fighting over lands and property. Hey, Gladys, Gladys. We are not here to be insulted. You now know that your late brother had children. Anyway, this is the message from the family. That engagement must stop until further notice. Nothing, nothing can stop me from giving away my daughter to the Ajimines. Elders, did you just hear that? Yes. Did you? Yes, we did. Then, 
you leave us with no other choice. You will meet us at Ajiman's house on the day of the engagement, and then we will rob your nakedness in public. My nakedness? Yes. You think we don't know? This tells it. We will tell the Ajiman's family that you use your witchcraft to kill Anita's mother and took everything for yourself. Turn Anita into a slave in this house. You do no such thing. Who are you people? Do you people know me? Would you recognize me if you see me in the streets? This is my mother. Even though she's not my biological mother, but she's my mother and I love her very much. You people are here to destroy a good marriage and I will not let you. I just will not let you. What the hell are you talking about, Anita? Do you know your origin? I don't care. I just want you to leave my mother in peace. I don't want you to disturb her. And I will get to the Ajimas before you people do. Anita! Anita! He's having a meeting with his friends inside. Please, can you go and call him? Please, I beg you. I really have to see him. Please, you know my boss is very difficult. Please, I beg you. You can come and wait for him. I, I beg you, please. please. I beg you. I beg you. Please. Oh. Hello, Anita. How are you? I'm going, thank you, sir. You don't look all right. Is, is anything the problem? Please, can I see your boss? I, I have a very important information for him. I really need to see him. Please let me see him. Okay, okay. Just uh, stay here, huh? I'll be back. Thank you, sir.
my little angel. You don't look alright. What could the matter be? Huh? Come on, my daughter. Tell me. Alright, tell me. Um, your heart is so grieved and it's written all over you. Hmm? I know. But I've had a series of discussions with my son, Fred. And this is to enable the two families to have a mutual relationship, a balanced one. And your mother can testify to that. No, sir. Sir, this is not the issue. I came here to tell you that Mrs. Gladys Battelles is not my mother. She has loved me and cared for me so much as if I was her own. You see, my mother was an orphan when she died. And after my father's death, it has just been my stepmother and my sister. They are the only family that I, that I have right now. So my, my stepmother is my strength, my inspiration. She's everything that I want. She's the best mother in this world. So, why are you bringing up this now? Because I know this. Some uncles would want to capitalize on this issue to, to, to bring shame on my mother and her child and disrupt this engagement, sir. Well, thank you so much for this courageous act that you have just demonstrated. It shows how compassionate and loving you are to your family. Okay? So be bold. Pull yourself together. Hmm? But there is one question I want you to answer. If you consider me as your father, give me a straight answer. Fred, come here. Have you ever been in love with my son? No, sir. Sir. Only my sister, Princess, is in love with Fred. Hmm. All right. All right. Hmm. All right. I'll see what I can do about it. Mommy, 
Mommy. Mommy, please, what is going on? Mommy, where, what is going on? Where is Anita? She's upstairs in her room. Excuse me. Oh, Mommy. Mommy, if you've so much, please talk to me. be asking for forgiveness for all I have done. <laughs> Bringing you all this pain and heartbreak to you and Princess. I have mistreated you. Mother would have been a great woman to have been a wonderful daughter like you. Please forgive me. Mom. Mom, I want you to marry Princess to Fred. Mom, all I desire right now is you as a loving mother. hug right now, Mom. It means the world to me. I'm so happy that you love me, Mom. That's I do. all I want. I do. What do you want, Ruth? Or have you come to see if Alex has thrown me out of the house? No, thank you. I came to explain things to you. I came to explain the relationship between Anita and Alex. Oh, please, just go. Why don't you just go? The last thing I want to hear right now is Alex and Anita. Just go. Oh, Becky, it's not what you think. It's not that. There's nothing going on between Alex and Anita. Anita only asked Alex to pretend to be engaged so that the man she loves will leave her alone and marry the sister that loves him so much. No. Um, Ruth, what, what are you trying to say? I, I don't understand you. You see, the problem started a long time ago when Anita and the sister were much younger. Princess, Mommy will be here with you, okay? Mommy will take you to the park, right? Hmm? Eat your food. Let me get you something, please. Folks, I'm already late. I should, I should be on my way out. See you, darling. Oh. I'll see you later. Princess, come on, come out. Come, look at me. You know I love you. Princess, today it's your birthday and you're going to really celebrate it, okay? That is our way to Kumasi, but he's with us in spirit, okay? Kiss mommy, kiss mommy.
mother where her mother lost her life in the accident. You are all she has in this whole wild world at this moment. Please promise me. Promise. Promise you take very good care of her. Just like your own. Please. Take very good care of her. I love Anita. I love Princess. I love you. So we meet again. So we meet again. So you can see how Alex got himself involved in this because of the compassion he has for a hurting friend. I really don't know what to say. I mean, I'm, I'm sorry. I didn't know. I guess I made the wrong conclusion because of my insecurity. I hope they forgive me. Okay, Vicky, it's okay. It's not your fault. Alex should have told you this earlier on. You see, Becky, Alex is a wonderful guy. And he loves you so much. He'll do all he can to protect you. Okay? I've really messed things up, haven't I? I've spoiled everything. Uh, oh, God. Okay, it's okay. It's okay. It's okay. I'm leaving, Alex. Leaving? Where to? Back to the States. It's better this way. I mean, coming back wasn't such a good idea after all. You and I, we never seem to get past the fact that I betrayed you. So you were going to leave without even saying goodbye? I left you a note. A note? What has a bloody note got to do the, with, with the love I have for you? Will it not explain how much I've hurt you? Will it explain how much you would miss me? How much we'll miss each other? Honey, this is not going to work. I mean, you're the one who's always telling me, let it go, let it go. Why don't you just let me go? I mean, we've said things to each other that we can't take back. But dear, let's forget about whatever we said to each other. I say there were words uttered by a jealous man. What happened between Maxwell and yourself? Look, I've just realized that humans as we are, we make mistakes. And I'm sorry. Please. Alex, I don't know. I feel so insecure and so sure that you will never totally forgive me. Look, Alex, I think I'm better off leaving without you than, than to live with a constant reminder of what happened. My dear, trust me. Cross my heart. I have forgiven you. I can't live without you. 
I need you to survive. I should be apologizing to you, not to you. Fred, look, he's reaching all over you. Alex. Alex, what are you doing here? Come on. Please, don't do anything that you would regret, okay? Alex, I don't love Fred. You do love no, Fred. No, I don't love him. Come on, who are you kidding? Look, you can't even stand it. Please, let's, let's spill the beans. Let's reveal it, okay? Alex, which part of I don't love Fred? Fred, don't you understand? You do love Fred. No, I don't. I don't even know why you're standing out here. I'm only here because I wanted to get some fresh air. That's all, okay? So please just leave. What is going on here? Honey, what is going on? It's my date. Why are you acting this way? Alex, what is going on here? Why didn't I need to have you told me today is supposed to be my day? I know, but I'm sorry, Princess. She's in love with Fred. What? She's always been in love with Fred. Look, me, her relationship, love, everything has been planned. It's, it's fake. What are you talking about? Hey, look, Fred is only doing this to just please Anita. Okay, if you go into this marriage, it, my fear is it just might not work, okay? So why didn't she tell me from the start? Is it the time she's supposed to... Oh, God! Oh. I'm sorry, okay? Anita is behind all this, okay? She's just making your mother happy and she's just sacrificing everything for you. I mean, you can call it self-sacrifice. What do you mean? You're sorry! Over two hours, and we have still not seen our wife. 
Uh, please be patient with us. She's coming. Yeah? Yeah. Is our wife going to come? Uh, our heroes, please be patient. She'll be here soon. This is my princess. Doesn't she look like a princess? They have come to ask for your hand in marriage. Shall we receive them? Pretend everything is okay. When really is not. I don't deserve to be standing here. If I continue with this, I wouldn't be happy with myself for the rest of my life. The person who deserves to be standing here today and right now. It's you, Anne. Why did you sacrifice the love you have for Fred? For me to stand here? It's not right. I can't do that to you. I love you so much. And you deserve to be with Fred. Yes, you do. Truly love me. Please join Anne and Fred together. 
They deserve to be together. Not me. Would you do this for me? Well, what fate has joined together? What can we do? She is also my own daughter. Uh, I would like to ask if you can also take her, since she is also my daughter. Faced with a very critical situation. Very, very critical. Yeah. Fred? Yes, Dad. What have you got to say about this? Well, actually, Princess couldn't have said it any better. Mm. I've been in love with Anita all along. And I wish I can get married to Anita. Oh. Mm. Anita. <laughs> I see. Anyway, she is equally beautiful. Oh, yes. And uh, a thing of beauty is always a joy forever. Right. And uh, if she is the one to bring joy and happiness into the life of my son, my only son, why not? Mm -hmm. Well accepted. <laughs>
times I see my 